Hey teachers, have you ever experienced a problem with trying to open Google Drive teaching resources? Maybe you're getting an error message saying that the resource doesn't exist at all, or maybe it just won't open when you click on it. While this can be incredibly frustrating, the good news is the solution is often very simple. In this video, I'm going to share the top reasons why your Google Drive resources will not open and four very easy troubleshooting tips to help you get them to open. Over the years, I've received many, many emails from teachers who are unable to get a Google Drive resource to open. And 99% of the time, the issue is not with the resource itself. Rather, there is a setting on the user's computer or browser that is preventing the resource from opening. Now, most problems with opening Google Drive resources can be solved by implementing one or more of the tips that I am about to show you. And the good news is these troubleshooting tips are so simple. You do not need to be a tech wizard or an expert at using Google to implement any of these. The first tip I have for you is extremely simple, and that is make Make sure you are opening the resource in your Chrome browser. Resources in Google Apps such as Google Slides, Google Forms, Google Docs, Google Sheets were created by Google. Therefore, they are going to open and function best in a Google Chrome browser. Another way to think of it is kind of like this. If you've ever tried to open a Microsoft resource on a Mac computer, sometimes you can't get it to open, or if you do get it to open, it may format differently or certain things may be missing. And that's because those are two different systems and Mac resources were not created for Microsoft and Microsoft resources were not created for Macs. Using your Google Drive resources is exactly the same thing. They were created by Google for Google Chrome. Therefore, they're not gonna operate the same way in other browsers. All right, so the next tip I have for you is another extremely simple one, and that is make sure you are only logged into one Google account at a time. If you're like me, you probably have multiple Google accounts. I have a personal one, I have one for Bestel's 21st Century Classroom, I have accounts for different curriculum companies I work for, I even have one that I just send my junk mail to. Now, having multiple accounts is very common, but having multiple accounts open at the same time can create problems when you're using and opening those Google Drive resources. So the solution to this is simple. Go ahead and log out of everything and just log into the account that those Google Drive resources are linked to. If you're uncertain how to do this, it's very, very simple. Just click on your user icon in the upper right hand corner of your Google Chrome browser and then click on sign out of all accounts. This will log you out of every Google account that you are logged into and then just select that one account that those resources are linked to and log in there. Oh, and here's a bonus tip for you. When you are logging in, make sure you are logged into your Google account where that Google Drive resource is saved. I have seen numerous teachers encounter problems because they're logging in with a personal account and that Google Drive resource is not linked to that account. So make sure you're logging into an, an account where your Google Drive resources are saved. All right, so the third tip I'm gonna share with you is probably the most common resolution for almost any Google Drive error that I've seen and not just being able to get a resource to open if you're experiencing a lot of glitches or any other problems, this can help. And this trick is not limited to just Google. I've seen it help with almost any problem you're experiencing on the internet. For example, one of my Virginia Teacher Club members was unable to log into her account a few weeks ago. I told her to do this and then she was suddenly able to log in. So this magical tip that fixes a lot of problems you may experience on the internet is clear your cache. By clearing your cache, you are clearing out all kinds of files and cookies that are saved in your browsing history. And having these things backlogged on your computer can create all kinds of issues. So I actually recommend clearing your cache weekly and not waiting until there is an issue to do so. 
To clear the cache in your Chrome browser, it's very easy. You're just gonna go to those three vertical dots in the upper right hand corner. This is where all of your settings are located. Then you are going to select history, clear browsing data, and last select cached items and titles. This is going to clear everything out for you. You should notice that things start functioning very quickly afterwards. Sometimes it's also a good idea just to exit out of your Chrome br browser after you do that and then reopen it. The last tip I have for you is one that is associated with a specific error message. I'm gonna put the error message up here on the screen. And basically, if you are getting some kind of error message that says the resource does not exist, that means that the hyperlink that you are putting into your browser does not have a Google Drive resource attached to it. In other words, if you are getting this message, there's something wrong with the link that you are using. Now, the easiest way to fix this is by copying and pasting the link for the resource directly into your Chrome browser. If you've ever purchased a teaching resource from my store or any stores on Teachers Pay Teachers, you're probably sent a PDF with a link for the Google Drive resource that you click on. Now, I have not been able to figure out why this happens for a very small number of teachers, but for some reason, when some teachers click on that link, their computer is changing the link and therefore, Google is saying that the resource does not exist. It's clearly some kind of setting. I'm not sure if it's in the browser, if it's on the computer. If you know why this happens to a very small number of people, go ahead and leave a comment below because I would love to be able to share this with some of these teachers so they can change that setting on their computers. But if you ever experience it, it is a very simple solution. All you're going to do is you're going to, instead of just clicking on the link, you're going to right click the link and select copy link location. Then you're going to paste that directly into the Chrome browser. So instead of the computer changing the link, you're just directly putting it into the browser so there is no change. All right, so there you have it. Those are four of the easiest ways to open your Google Drive resources when they won't open. These are the most common problems that we see. Like I said, 99% of the time, if a teacher emails me and says that their Google Drive resources won't open, if they implement one or more of these tips, it suddenly opens. And if you've ever experienced an issue with a Google Drive resource not opening and you found something else that works really well for you, go ahead and share it down in the comments below. So that way, if any other teachers are experiencing problems, they can kind of scan through those tips as well to get more ideas. And before we wrap up, I would also like to ask you to take a moment to please like this video and subscribe to the channel. We create all of the content on this channel for free. And by taking the time to like the video and subscribe to the channel, it ensures that we're able to keep creating free content for you and educators around the world. So until next time, happy teaching.